Speaker. I call Materia Turei. Thank you, Mr Speaker. New Zealand in 2015 is not Korea in the 1970s, and ni neither is it New Zealand in the 1970s or the 1980s. And neither is it neither is the yeah that what's happening with Manaya View School now what is hap what was happening with Manaya School when Paul Foster Bill um, knew it. We are now in a situation in 2015 where the one major agency that is working with schools to provide lunch and breakfast in those schools has is already have feeding 15,000 kids a day already has 450 schools that they work with, already has a waiting list of 7,000 children who are looking for that same service. Now, uh, Melissa Lee can stand up and berate parents all she likes and regale us with tales of Korea in the 1970s. Not a single statement she made has any relevance to the lives of a child today who went to school without breakfast and without lunch and was not in a school where there was some assistance. That is what we are facing today. Thousands of New Zealand children go to school without breakfast or lunch. And we sit here in this parliament with all the resources of our entire nation available to us to fix that problem. We have had today already a discussion and a bill where, it would have, where the parliament could have chosen to support hungry kids and provide them with a solution. We have another chance today to fix the mistake that was made this afternoon and to support David Shearer's Food and Schools Bill to the Select Committee so that we can have, as we've said time and time again, the conversation about New Zealand in 2015. Families in 2015, children in 2015 who are going to school without breakfast and lunch. They are the people we should be talking about. Not Foster Bell when he was seven and not Melissa Lee when she was ten. The kids today who are seven and who are ten and who are going to school hungry. And because they are hungry they can't learn properly and their lives, their whole lives are affected by what happens when, with the decisions that we make. I'm very pleased to support David Shearer's bill. It is different from the solution that was put forward this afternoon, which, was, which put an obligation on schools to provide uh, breakfast and lunch. It's different from the solution that the Green Party prepared, which is to have a fund that schools can access to then spend as they choose to provide lunch in schools. These are all the ideas that our parliament should be having a constructive conversation about, not on the floor of the debating chamber, but actually in select committee where we are together with members from all the parties talking with our own community about how we deal with today's problem, with the problem of 2015. That is the rational, responsible thing for this parliament to do. And we have another chance to do that today. And we should take it up. This bill is only going to fail by one vote, do I understand that correctly? Because Peter Dunn is supporting this, this bill. Well, that's good, very good news. One vote is going to make the difference between having a conversation about how to feed today's hungry kids or not. And the National Party is choosing yet again to say no to those hungry kids. The 7,000 kids who are waiting on the kids' can list are being told no by this government. The many thousands of others who are not yet able to get on the waiting list have been told, are about to be told yet again, no by John Key and his government, and they should be deeply ashamed of themselves. There is no other reason for them to be here in this parliament with all the privileges of this office if not to take care of our kids. Here is an opportunity to prove that you are worthy of this job and support this bill. Thank you, Mr Speaker.